This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Ceilings Array So there's that little halogen light that we dropped in. Now we want to array that along the bulkhead. Let's go to a ceiling plan view to do that. So that's in the project browser under ceiling plans and then top of floor one. Okay, so we're cutting through, we're looking up, and there's our light. Now, what I did is I did, again, just sort of like the skylights, I did a little bit of pre-math into laying out the configuration of these little halogen lights and discovered that if they're three foot two and a half from each other, then that provides a good balance of lights. And we're also going to put in some corner cabinets here as well. That should fit in nicely with those. Of course, we can adjust them later. But this is just to get comfortable with the command array. So I'm going to click on that little light and just move it over a little bit, just so it's somewhere and it's nowhere specific. The reason for that is because I don't know where you dropped your light in. So if we just put it in somewhere around there, what we're going to do now is we're going to align it with a preset point. OK, so where is that? So first thing we're going to do is align this light with the center of the window. So let's go to the Align tool. This is under Modify, and then there's a line. Let's pick the center of the window, and then there's the center of the light. Good. So that's where one of them is definitely going to go. And the other one is going to be 3 foot 2 and a half. But we want to use the Array command. So here's what we're going to do. Let's click on the light, and let's use the Move command now. And let's pick a point on the light, and let's just move it over to 3 foot 2.5 inches. That's 3 foot 2.5. Because my mouse is scrolling to the left, directly to the left, when I hit enter, that's exactly where that's going to go. OK, we've set this up. Now we're ready to use the array tool. Now we didn't really think too much about this distance right here, this vertical distance. It looks pretty good. We could maybe just do a quick measure and make sure that we have enough space for a wall. It looks like we have eight and a half to the light, eight and a half inches, so that should be fine. So if we pick on this halogen light or recessed light, let's use the array tool. So pick the object first, then go to array. Now array has many, many options. We're really just going to look at the option as it pertains to this array. We're going to do what's called a linear array. We are going to do this group and associate. That will be checked. And we're going to try different numbers. We're not too sure of the numbers yet. And we're going to move to the second. What that means is that's the second in the row. So it's one, two, three, four. It would be the second. Whereas if you go to the last, you might have one, two, three, four, five, six. And then it'll try to fill in between them. So that's the second. That's, that's a good option to start with. So here's what we're going to do. We're now going to array and we're going to pick a point on the light. And I'm going to move it to the right and just type in three foot two and a half inches. Enter. Now I know that seems a little redundant, but the reason why we did it this way is so we could have the first light aligned in the correct position. This one will then end up in the center of the window, and thereon it'll have a nice logical continuance. Now, what is this two here? There's a two there and a two there. What is that all about? Well, that's trying to get us to start typing in how many of these lights that are going to be there. The reason we have this option is because they were grouped and associated right from the beginning. So if I were to type in six, what it's telling me here is you've picked too many. And now you're trying to put a light that's not in the ceiling and it needs a host. So sorry, I won't do it. OK, so six won't work. Let's try it again. Let's click on that little light there. Let's go to array. That kicked us right out of the command, but that's good to see. So we've got group and associate, linear, two, second, good, point on the center of that object. And let's try this again. Three foot, 2.5, enter. Okay, let's try, let's be safe. Let's go four. Now you may look at that and say, you know what? Why don't we go five? And you can see if we did six, it would be one more that would ruin this. Now you can click on any one of these. You see how they have sort of a larger box around them when you click on them. 
that means it's grouped and associated with the rest of the array. And you can pick on any one of them and make changes. I could say, let's go down to two. Let's pick on this one. Let's go up to five. Okay. What if I do want to change or I want to sort of rebalance them? You can actually change that just by stretching one and then all of them will come into line. Now I'm going to just undo that. So that's a start. We've got our little bulkhead in there. We've got some lights that have been arrayed and we just need to finish one part. Let's take a look at the interior and we're just going to be putting a little wall up there to complete that bulkhead. And that'll be in a later video.